They're both getting hit. No freaking way. River Rats, I am one mile in on a 14 mile float and it's just me, myself, and I. I guess I got Snoopy too. He's coming along, but uh, I haven't had much of a chance to fish by myself this year and this is just kind of my little getaway where I can uh, do what I want when I want and don't have to be considerate of everyone else's feelings. And even the people who say they don't care, I still want them to enjoy themselves and I take that into account, so. But when I'm by myself, no matter how crazy of fishing I want to do, nobody tell me not to. So let's go. Ooh, shads. Can I get one to land in the kayak? The only thing I forgot so far is a throw net. At least I think that's the only thing I forgot. It's the only thing I know I forgot so far. I'm sure there'll be something else. I'll get over the shad if I can catch me a white bass. I love shad for cut bait. White bass is hard to argue, just as good, if not better. Just gotta find some hungry ones. Oh, and there's also a chance of rain too. So that's cool. I was just thinking about how I wish I brought my cast net. No joke. Just got a cast net. Saw the uh, old foam loop sticking up. That's crazy. Looks like um, I might get to use some shad after all. It's not a cast net I would have ever bought. Phytex are good ones, but this one isn't the greatest. But there's so many shad around, I don't think it's gonna matter. That's kind of funny. Let's see if Lady Luck keeps rolling. First flathead spot. I'm gonna get one of these big old oxygen sucking bluegills out of the bait tank. Probably gonna get two of them out actually because uh, they're stuffed in there pretty good. Ironically, I just put out, I just put out a, a bait video about don't overfill your bait tank, and I'd say she's probably overfilled. I don't know. I'll get over it if my bait survives and I catch a flathead. There's a jumping spider. Duh! Sorry, man. I don't like you. If you don't like me either, I get it. My right, other one is rigged. Sharps my hook. Pretty sharp. Shrogs. I'm not sure if you can hear that, but there was definitely a carp sucking on the bottom of my kayak. Now, if it was my other kayak that's been used a lot, he'd probably find something to eat on the bottom of there. This one, not as much. On the road again. Actually felt like it might have happened in that spot, but it didn't. No hard feelings. I'm sure there's a fish in here, but not a hungry one. Plenty of spiders. Hopefully they're not hungry either. Or at least not bitey. in La La Land, looking at the Cubs box score. <laughs> There's a fish in the kayak. The way he hit it, I thought he was the right one. He just went thud, nothing, and started going down. And it's lots of times what flatheads do. Flatheads aren't as big a jerks as this guy is. Fine specimen. Um, see ya. Oh, I guess it got splashed. Such is life. That was nice. It's been uh, as slow as the cubbies have been. I've been listening to them on the radio and uh, surprise, right? All right, so there's no way you're gonna be able to see this, but I swear I've been hearing a loon for better part of the last two hours. And I think that's it right there. It's not normal for here that I'm aware of. I'm pretty sure that's the first loon I've ever seen in Iowa. I've seen them in Canada. I haven't spent much time in Minnesota. They might get them there too. I bet they do if we get the occasional one in Iowa. Or maybe that one's just lost. Definitely the most exciting thing that's happened today. Flathead fishing's about 
about went as I expected. I figured the majority of the action, if we're going to get action, is going to be after dark. But uh, I was really hoping I'd run across the white bass blitz or something like that. So, I don't know. Mornings are usually better. We're almost to camp. I finally got a bite on the inline spinner. It's um, not what I was expecting, but uh, it's kind of comical. <laughs> Kitty, and he freaking choked it. <laughs> uh, I don't think I have any pliers because I just rigged this kayak and haven't put pliers in it yet because I wasn't thinking. I won't ever tell you I'm smart. I mean, prime example, I'm floating down river and not looking where I'm going. But I guess this is uh, me just going with the flow, literally. <laughs> it's that time of day where the kitties are in the riffles, where the white bass are supposed to be. Did not expect to see the slime on there, though it's definitely not unheard of. I think if the cats were that tuned up, you'd find some white bass tuned up. But I'm not a white bassologist or a wiperologist, so there's that. Okay. Come on. And we're home. I think I like it. I'll like it a lot if I catch a 50. Well, if you're wondering what the three-headed dragon is, it's right there. And we are working with dueling three-headed dragons. And if you're wondering how many shad scales are on my camera, the answer is a lot. I'm gonna try to lob this dude with a leader longer than the fishing rod. Yeah! The good old results of the helicopter on the ice rig. Yeah, they don't cast wonderful. And you wanna fix that in case King Kong hits. Which is possible. That one's set. Leave that one while we get everything else figured out. No, oh, it's getting hit already. Gar? Turtle? It's like as soon as they hit the bottom. Gar or turtle? Turtle or gar? Can't even pull the rod tip down. Eh, he made it click a little bit. And he dropped. What are you? Relentless is what you are. Oh. That's probably not good for it. Oh. I set it right into a log. Oh man, that's that's good for your reels. Oh. That sucks. For multiple reasons, that sucks. So I know there's a log there. Hmm, we might have to move. I would hate to hook a giant and not even have a real opportunity to fight him because of scattered timber. If you're like, oh, just control and keep them out while they run into it. Or your bait wiggles and makes its way into it and then you're screwed from the get-go. All right, caught some more shad. I'm starting to warm up to this place. We'll see at the end of the night how I feel, but there's bigger shad here than there was at that other spot. That doesn't hurt my feelings, done. I'm gonna try to lob him a pretty good distance and then uh, I'm gonna float a bobber down there even further. Okay, there's some depth there. Ooh, he doesn't like being there. Okay, that one's set. I'm fishing. So small. But if he's gonna eat my bait, might as well try and catch him. Yeah, he's just swimming with me. Yeah, this might be temporary. Ooh. What are you? Little flathead? Little flathead! I think. Yep. Cool. His uh his mouth is pretty full. <laughs> yeah, you can see he was uh 
Hungry. I have no idea what that would have been. Is this one for real? Well, I think I got him too. I was trying to uh, get a battery in my other GoPro. This one up. Feels uh, similar to what I just landed. Just getting smaller. First flathead double of my life. Not the most impressive one, but it's pretty sweet. Yeah, they're comparable. <laughs> so I guess there's flatheads here. <laughs> Got me a couple very sandy little flatheads, and they're lucky that I don't have a cooler or means of keeping them. They're also lucky because I'm going to leave that bluegill in his mouth. He can have it. But, I mean, I'll call this a good start. Not magnums, but we're in the right species. Okay, see ya. Sweet. Um, Better? Not sure. Yeah, maybe. So hard to tell on an ice rod. This is crazy action if this is another flathead though. Even if they're small. No, nope. channel rat. Not a bad one though. Come here. Big fat headed one. Just gotta wallow in the muck. Calm down. By channel cat standards, I consider this a pretty nice fish. And then, uh, uh, they're such jerks. And then, uh, by any fish standards, I consider this a very sandy fish. See what I did there? I'm so awkward sometimes. All right, dude. Yeah. Quality just increased substantially. That's a pretty dang nice fish. I uh, this is the third flathead in 45 minutes. Just probably a new record for me. <laughs> so, uh. Bad fish. Ooh. Good head shakes. Ooh. Yeah. Just me. <laughs> this is the hot rod right now. I realized my camera was off on that last one. Is it on this one? It seems to be. Stay out of that other one. Yeah, ain't bad. He might be just like that last one. Oh, he's a little smaller. What a nice fish, though. Don't put that hook in me. <laughs> that was almost bad. Yeah, the hook point was right by my hand. That'll work. This is getting borderline crazy. I mean, I feel like I need to break up the fish fights in the dark with like something else to add to the entertainment. I'm just chilling, watching UFC fight videos like a real millennial. Quality fish, fun fish, like a lot of fun. <laughs> what are you gonna do? Gonna freak out or what? Disappear like a ghost. Okay, that's cool. Right on that drop off. I might have said that already. It's interesting that Bobber's got no love.
Oh. Absurd. Well, if you're wondering, John Jones won his fight that I was watching. But I already knew he won his fight, so uh, it was just fun to rewatch this fight. Insane. I mean, they're not big, and they're a couple of them pretty nice. Five flatheads? Never experienced anything like this. It's crazy. I'm gonna run out of bait. I can't believe it. They just keep running up that giraffe aisle. Bonkers. Oh, he splashed me. I got him in quick and threw him back quick, I guess, so there's that. Okay. Yep. That's a pretty nice one. Dang. Yeah. It's like running at me. Like a dang channel cat. But he's heavy. Ooh. Big head shakes. Am I going to be able to keep him out of the other line? I wonder why he's running at me. That's strange. What are we looking at here? Oh, he ain't bad. Barely hooked. I'm gonna lose count at this rate. Yeah, look. <laughs> He's just barely hooked on the bobber. You need to actually flathead fish to be able to appreciate what's happening right now. I mean, there's no monstrosities, but six fish in an hour and a half. <laughs> this doesn't happen here. <laughs> I'm kind of speechless. Oh, weird. Sorry. Um, took off like a bat out of you know what, and now he's just running right at me. So, no. Confused flathead. Hey. Yeah, big channel. Sorry for the crazy camera stuff. Oh no. Oh. Okay. Guess he's taking off. Quick release. See him left in here. Not much for big stuff. Well, he's pretty big. Huh. He'll do. When you hook him, I like hooking him right behind the dorsal fin, right in that general area. And then I do it at an angle. Okay. And I get poked. And the most important thing though, make sure there's no scales on your hook point. No scales on hook point, check. They're good. Okay, back to chilling. They're both getting hit. Not big. Double on flatheads? I with no, did I?
Oh no, I did not whip him. He's not real big. This is crazy. Yeah, he's just a little tight. Okay. He's not even a flathead. He's a channel flat. This is definitely a flathead. I think. Or a potato. Acting funny. Almost as funny as standing here with this fishing pole between my legs. No big head shake, so. Yeah, I guess. There's definitely weight. Like a decent amount of weight. It's not doing much. Mm -hmm. Probably keep this line tight. I don't know how big he is. Oh, he's really big. Holy crap. Oh no. Should have quit screwing around with that channel cat. That was my 40 plus for the evening. That's my luck this year on big fish. I blame myself. I can't blame you, Channel Cat. Got greedy. <laughs> that was weird. He just didn't do nothing until he got to the bank. Oh, man. Whatever. See ya. Maybe I'll get another shot. Maybe. At least I got to see him. He was really freaking big. Just sitting here being blinded, but I'm also thinking about um, how much that sucks. I lost that fish. That was an easy 40 to 50 pounder. Easy. Probably closer to 50 than 40. So I'm stuffing my face and uh, I'm not actually crying. That light's just really bright. I might be crying a little bit kind of sick and tired of talking about the one that got away though if we're being honest I just I would just like to catch him oh, yep. nice fish Now I gotta play with this guy. Big head shakes. Mm, ain't that big. It ain't bad. It ain't the one I lost. Oh, that was a fish right at my feet. I don't see him yet. Oh yeah, he's a nice one. Another teener. Teeners are tuned up. He's so good. Number seven. But who's counting? Should be eight. I think I'd trade them all for the one that got away. Fun fish, nice fish, gave me a good fight. And I'm gonna let him go. Well, I'm gonna go to sleep. Hopefully I get wake, woken up here in about 20 minutes. This is crazy. Okay, back. I was waiting for one to do that. I have to dry off before I go to sleep. Oh, I think I got him. Oh, he ran sideways. There he is. Ooh. Get out. 
We fight so funny in the shower. Right? Oh, you got my other line. Big bluegills. So hot right now. Alright. Moderate tangled mass. Oh, very moderate. Look at that. Rebates. Everything. Weird things are happening. Yep, I wondered. <laughs> he ran all the way to the bank. And came right up on the bank. Heard a zit zit, and then splash splash, and then got up and looked at the line, and it was slack, and here we are. Sweet. See ya. Yeah. Well, that was a wild ride of an evening. Should probably try to catch some more shad, considering I uh, don't have much other bait. Because the flatheads ate it all. What a bunch of rascals. We did not catch a single flathead after 1 o'clock. I don't know if it was because... Uh, Ran out of them good baits, or uh, they just quit biting. But eight, it's a crazy night. I think I have some of that energy sauce. Oh, score! Got one of them protein cookies. Got those in there. Good, because if I would have remembered it was in there, would, it would be eaten already. <sighs> Gonna be a pretty decent amount of sleep for camp evening. To eat this and. Drink some energy sauce. And then, uh, brush my teeth and catch bait and pick up and try to catch some more flatheads. So weird. They just quit biting. It's not that weird. Yeah, I'm gonna get this stuff picked up. And I'm gonna catch you shads. Hope you enjoyed this part of the video. I guess it's gonna be a two part video. So, I mean, it is a really long ways to float down river. So there is that, but uh, I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope you uh, kind of understand where I'm going, coming from when I was talking about how crazy that flathead fishing was. So I probably edit the videos to make it look that crazy all the time, but it's not. Like one fish every six hours or so, it's about about average. Six fish in an hour, <laughs> that's insanity. Anyway, hope you enjoyed it, and if you did, hit the like button. If you want to see more, hit the subscribe button. I got a podcast. You can check that out. Link's in the description. Regardless, I really appreciate you taking the time to watch. Hope you catch a giant.